Yeah, what the business is? It's ISM, Top Tech Activity Business CEO. Y'all know we V'd up and we G'd up. Get at me, I'ma get at y'all. We are at the peak of the hierarchy. And um, I wanna talk to y'all about something, man. Um, On my Facebook, I posted a picture of me and my mother with the um, Fantasia Baby Mama song. Believe that. And um, back in the day, when we was in New Orleans, like, you know what I'm saying? My mama used to bump that shit, man. That was a, a real emotional time for us. And a, a lot of y'all, for a lot of us, that, that was an emotional time, man. You know? So I don't want to hear that shit, man. Y'all trying to talk me and shit, talking about that's gay. Just because a nigga listen to R and B music don't mean he gay. If I but if I rock, if I pull up on you listening to Mary J. Blige, that mean I'm gay. If I pull up on you listening to Janae Aiko, that mean I'm gay, man. Y'all need to see some, man. A lot of y'all gay niggas listen to rap all day. Y'all listen to rap music, street shit all day, and be fantasizing about some gay shit, nigga. So I don't want to hear that shit, man. Don't come at me like that, man. I'm about to remix that Baby Mama song, man. Believe that I'm about to remix that. And let them know, let the Baby Mamas know. You know what I'm saying? My Baby Mamas and other niggas' Baby Mamas know we here for them. You know what I'm saying? We care about them. Because Fantasia was basically saying that we're nobody there for the Baby Mamas, man. And we want to let y'all know that we here for y'all. We care about y'all. We love y'all. And we appreciate y'all for giving birth to our babies and holding it down. The real ones, the solid ones. You know what I'm saying? Even the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Holding it down for the niggas that ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Holding it down and being there for the kids that don't have no father. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to hear that shit, man. Y'all always trying to, that's why I need to get rid of y'all gay ass niggas, man. Y'all just on some bullshit. And it had to be a gay ass nigga that started that. Like, man, cease it, man. Y'all know I'm not gay. Y'all wish I was gay. That's the whole problem. That's the whole problem. And people, just, y'all just like followers, man. Whatever somebody say, y'all just jump on that shit when y'all know that's not the case. And that shit irks me, man. Just because I pull up on you listening to Mary J. Blige or something, a street nigga pull up on, a street nigga pull up and make a play listening to Mary J. Blige, man. That don't mean he gay. What the fuck? Nigga just in a, in a R&B type of mood, man. Nigga don't got to be on that tough ass shit all the time. Y'all faggot ass niggas be on that type of shit, man. Y'all, like I said, y'all will be listening to some rap shit, gay as fuck. Thinking about fucking a rap nigga, listening to his music, and nigga talking about fucking a bitch, you thinking about fucking him or getting fucked by him. Man, cease it, man. For real, that's the type of shit rap niggas got to go through with y'all gay ass niggas, man. Y'all be trying to turn niggas gay and shit. Niggas be making R&B songs about women and y'all hating and shit mad because the nigga ain't making a song about you. And a lot of y'all niggas be making songs about women, but really be talking about a man. But that's none of my business, though, man. That's none of my business at all. But what is my business is when I post something and y'all just run with it and say whatever, and that shit be disrespectful, man. For real, man. I can't listen to. I can't listen to that. I can't listen to Fantasia. I'm a street nigga. I can't listen to. Um. Keisha Cole, you know what I'm saying? For real, I can't listen to Faith Evans. I can't pull up and on that as soon as I get home. On y'all ass, I can't pull up on that shit. Man, cease it, man. Cease it, man. Stop playing with me, man. This shit don't make no sense, the shit that y'all be on. It irks me sometimes, man. But I ain't tripping, though, because I know I'm not gay. So it, ain't, it, it don't piss me off like that, but I just want to get some straightening, man. That's why I think it's getting rid of y'all. We can't even enjoy ourselves, man, because y'all want to say a nigga gay because y'all wish they was gay. All this pussy out here, man, somebody got to be straight, man. Somebody got to strike these women and flirt with them and make them feel feminine. Somebody got to be masculine. We can't have everybody gay around here, man. That's why we fight for virility and femininity, man. But like I said, I'm about to remix that Fantasia song, man. And don't nobody take it because y'all, you know what I'm saying, with nobody... I don't give a fuck if you take it anyway. I'm definitely going to make a better song than you anyway. You know what I'm saying? But I, I want to do that for the baby mamas that, that lost their baby daddies and 
stood tall and handled their business. You know what I'm saying? The baby mamas that knew their baby daddies went shit and got their kids away from their father and, you know what I'm saying, made away from them the best way that they could instead of just dealing with their daddy bullshit and having them kids go through a traumatic time or traumatic times in their life. A lot of these women, they know their daddies don't be don't be shit and they still keep them around and let them go through all type of bullshit and don't get them out of that situation. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I really posted that, man. Because I know my mama be going through a lot of shit and my mama went through a lot of shit to make sure so I was great. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to post that and pay homage. You know, that's all I really wanted to do, man. Because a lot of young ladies out here that's going through that same situation, they feel like ain't nobody there for them. Don't nobody care about them. You know what I'm saying? It's just them and their kids. And that's how they feel, man. And that's what society shows them sometimes. Because niggas in the hood don't be caring about these bitches that they got kids and shit. Like, they don't be caring. Most, most of them don't. They don't give a damn if the bitch fine. They just want a striker. They don't give a damn about them kids. They want them kids to go to school or go to sleep so they can get some noggin or some pussy or some ass, man. They want them kids to go to their go to their grandma house or some shit so they could fuck their mama. That's all they care about. They don't give a damn about them kids. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to, you know, remix that and put my own, you know what I'm saying, meaning to it. Put my own vibe to it, man. So I need y'all to cease playing with me, talking about just because any nigga, man, any nigga that's listening to R and B or whatever, man, ain't nothing wrong with that. We we ride, we pull up on our bitches to R and B. We fuck our bitches to R and B. Well, I fuck my bitches to R and B. I don't know, but I don't speak. I don't speak on other niggas. I don't know what other niggas be doing with they bitches, but I fuck my bitches to R and B, man. I pull up on my bitch, listen to R and B. When I'm in a cool, calm. Vibe, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be on no rap shit. I'll pull up on some R&B. I'll listen to some Keeps the Code, to some Faith Evans, to some Mary J. Blige. And I'm a street nigga, man. I don't care about that shit. It don't matter. It's the vibe you in. These music, this music is vibes, man. Like I said, y'all gay niggas be listening to rap and shit, thinking y'all tough and shit be fantasizing about fucking another man or getting fucked by another man. So it don't matter what you listening to. It matters your thought process. It do matter what you listen to because it's the vibe that you on, but it's your thought process when it come down to it. Because some niggas know that this music is just entertainment. So y'all y'all that be taking that shit too far, over-exaggerate, y'all hear a nigga talking about doing this and doing that. If they really do it, then that's their business. But at the end of the day, that shit is entertainment, man. Entertainment. Believe that, y'all be taking shit too far. When y'all get that in y'all mind that if a nigga talk about robbing a bank or doing some shit like that, that's what he talked talking about doing. That's what he wanted to do. Or that's what he thought about doing. Or that's what he did. You know what I'm saying? Nigga talking about fucking 50 bitches in one state. That's what he did. That's what he wanted to do. If you could relate to that, then that's you. Man, it's just entertainment, man. For real. This R&B shit is different, man. This rap shit and R&B shit is different, man. You could be lying about some R&B shit too, but, man, it's different. It's a vibe that we looking for, that we want to feel when we listen to certain music. So, I'm, well, I don't give a fuck. I already know y'all going to do that shit, man. Y'all going to get some shit and run with it all the time. But I just want y'all to know I'm a street nigga and I'm going to listen to R&B whether y'all like it or not. I'll fuck around and kill your ass. I'll pull up on you, listen to R&B and kill your ass. Nigga, like, real talk. Listen to some, listening to a love song. Pull up on you and, yeah. Facts with no fallacy. I don't want to hear that shit, man. For real. Y'all niggas be, man, y'all individuals. Because it's not just niggas. But, yeah, I just want to let y'all know I'm definitely Fantasia. I'm definitely finna remix that. You know what I'm saying? That's a real emotional song, you know, and it was a um emotional time in our lives when that song came out. I just want you to know we appreciate you for making that song. It ain't no other baby mama song, I don't think. You know what I'm saying? If it's another baby mama song, then let me know. But Fantasia did that. She put on for the baby mamas that's going through the struggle and out here making it without they 
baby daddies and without their families and, you know, putting on for them. So I appreciate that. And I'm going to definitely add my um, my vibe to it. You know what I'm saying? Let, let the baby mamas know what the business is with me and how, you know, I appreciate them and I respect them for handling their business and stepping up to the plate, even if they didn't have nobody else there for them or actually with them to deal with the situation that they put themselves in. Because that's some real shit to step up to the plate and just realize, like, yeah, I'm in this situation. You know what I'm saying? Because they could have had an abortion. They could have let their kid get fucked up and died or something, but they took care of their kids, man. You know what I'm saying? Factual with no fallacy. I respect that, and I'm going to pay my respects by remixing that and letting y'all know I care about y'all, and I'm here for y'all, and I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all. Y'all know it's Sino the Ism, Top Tech Activity Business CEO. Y'all already know we V'd up and we G'd up. Get at me, I'm going to get at y'all. And for the record, I'm a street nigga, and I'm a listener to R&B, and it don't make me a bitch, and it don't make me gay. Believe that. Get at me, I'ma get at y'all. Y'all know we at the peak of the hierarchy, man. Believe that.